Hey everyone, Cobra here. I just wanted to do a very quick explanation on how to make the most out of the Strongest Leader event. So if you go to your event center over here, you see on the tournament part, there is the Strongest Leader. Now this has six parts. Sometimes five and six are combined for the kill event. Um, and if you go over here, you can see these are the rewards. If you get top 10, you basically get your choice of <clears throat> one of three different enforcers or tokens to upgrade that enforcer. Rank three, you get 20, 240, rank one, you get 80. Anything past rank 10, you get golden speeds and that's it. Now, how do you make the most out of this? Well, you gotta know what days are important. So each day you have these objectives. I would recommend trying to at least complete the last one, whether or not you try and go for a top 10 on that particular day. Um, but where it gets really important is if I click this button here, you go to ranking history. So you can see on two, step one, I got rank seven with three million points. On stage two, which is almost done now, I'm rank 13 with 300,000 points, and the top person only has 800,000 points. Now, that says something. In the overall score, the city robbery step, not important. Granted, you don't want to get zero points, but when the top person gets less than a million points, and in other days, like the first day, the top player has 10 million points, it's not near as important. So the days where you're going to get the most points are going to be <clears throat> the training day, the construction day, the investment day, and the kill event day. If there is ever the one where you have to challenge kingpins, that one does not get you very much. City robberies does not get you very much. You want to focus on those four, the investment, building, training, and kill event. And especially... Honestly, the kill event, if you have the heals for it and the resources, you can literally make top 10 in the entire thing by killing enough troops. So last time we did this, I ended rank 7 overall, I believe, with 35 million points. The rank 1 had, I think he had like 75 million points in just the kill event. So that event alone is really important if you're willing to get out there and risk your troops. You can get lots of good rewards. Like, I'm going for top 10 because I really want the stuff to rank up my enforcer. But that's just a little tip on what to focus on. So like I said, I'll repeat it one more time. Troops, building, investment, and especially kill event. That's where you're going to get the majority of your points for this event. Hope it helps. Hope it helps you get better rewards. Remember, if you're going to spend gold, do not spend gold on the Gathering one or on the Challenge Kingpin one. Make sure to spend it on something that's going to actually help you in the long run. So let me know if you have anything else you want to see. Hope it helps.